We're at Ebersfield Prep School in Solihull to meet Leo, who swims for his local team, the Blythe Barracudas. He's also a national champ and swimming coach. Leo, how can we help you today? Uh, I'm actually after a bit of technology for myself and my coaching. Have you used technical swimming before? No, I haven't actually. No, it's my first time. You want something that not only will help your swimming, but also all the people you teach? Yes, I coach on evenings. All ages? Yeah. Anywhere between 4 and 18, actually, yeah, so a bit of a range there for you. Any chance you could stretch that up to close to 50? No problem. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope so. Well, I've got just the thing that I think will be able to help with your training. I'll see you at the other end of the pool. I'll take that. This is how you do it. Oh, shit. Brilliant. Now. Oh, beat me to it. What I've got are some fins. These fins are shaped to increase speed through the water and promote correct technique. They've been developed with 3D foot scanning technology, which should help take Leo's training to the next level. They've also got these blades on the side. That should basically pick up more water in the kick. You can go faster and uh, hopefully work your legs harder. So if you'd like to give those a try, that would be fantastic. I've also got hand paddles, which uh, don't have the uh, radial blades. They do the same thing for your hands as your feet. Yes, yeah. 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 The hand paddles create water resistance as you swim, forcing your arms, shoulders and back to work harder, meaning you can go faster and improve muscle tone and stroke skill. Oh, wow, so, these do make you go fast. The fins I'm really happy with. It's definitely a good workout for your legs. <laughs> Excellent. Would you recommend them for the people you teach as well? Yeah, sometimes people with bad technique, when they put fins and paddles on, the, the bad aspects of their stroke can come out as well. Thank you very much for that Thank amazingly impressive demonstration. Nice moves, John, but I've gone to great lengths to find some tech that Leo is sure to love. Now, Leo, I want to know, when you are coaching swimmers, how yeah. do you communicate with them? Because obviously it's quite hard if they're in the pool and there's quite a few... Yeah, there. so normally I'd, I'd speak to them when they're finished. I'd probably give them you feedback. Give them feedback. Yeah. Well, hopefully this, which is the Finnis Swim Coach Communicator, would allow you to give immediate feedback whilst they're actually whilst, doing the oh, length. Oh, wow. The Finnis Swim Coach is a waterproof communication system that comes with a receiver and painted bone conduction speakers that send audio through your cheekbones to your inner ear. This then links up to this app okay. and it very simply has a microphone on it. So if I switch on, then I can oh, talk to I've you. I've heard something. Yes, I can talk to you. So, should we give them a yes, go? Yes, of course. Good push off. I want more kicking, faster. The receiver and speakers should last for between four to six hours on a full charge and it's waterproof for up to three metres. Breathe! Breathe! I couldn't even feel them in my head. They were literally, didn't even realise they were there. I could just hear Georgie speaking in my ear, which is really, really good. Better, better. And after this length, I want you to come to a stop. Well done. Oh, thanks for that. Good coaching, good yeah. swimming. Awesome. Dream <laughs> we make team. a perfect team. <laughs> First and foremost, did you hear me clearly the whole time? Even yes, I did, yeah, the whole way. Kind of forgot they were even there. I could just hear you speaking, but I couldn't feel them on my on my ears. So, yeah, Great. Really How useful would they be when you're the coach? While my swimmers are swimming, I could always just turn around and say, I'll oh, work on this or Yeah, like, I you, think like you, you said it's to immediate. me. Yeah. yeah, straight away. No no stopping and starting, you kind of just do it straight away. Good. <laughs> Different strokes for different folks, Georgie. My bit of tech is sure to make a splash. I want to give you these. So these are swimming goggles from Form. They're a fitness tracker, a performance tracker, but these work basically on your face. These are the world's first smart goggles which let you see your actual speed, distance, split times, stroke rate, and even calories burnt and heart rate, all while swimming. All of that information is then sent to an app and you can have a look at your sets and your performance over time, etc. Awesome. Do you want to give them a go and yes. let's just see how they work? So press the okay. front button. Oh, there we go. Got it? Yes. All right, away you go. With a chlorine-resistant anti-fog coating, these goggles sync your data to a dedicated app so you can analyse your performance and progress over time. I think it's really good when you're kind of going to swim by yourself, so you haven't got a coach, you're kind of doing a bit of independent swimming. Stroke rate, the metres, the, um, the time, is the, those are the three things you kind of want when you're swimming. Oh, wow. So, OK, so I know you've only done one lap uh, yeah. there and back, but... Thoughts, initial thoughts? I think they're really, really cool. Yeah. Yeah, so um, 
I turned around and he gave me an exact split of what I'd done the first length, which yeah. is really, really cool. Was it distracting at all? I wouldn't say it was distracting. Um, I was just swimming and I kind of forgot to breathe because I was so <laughs> so, so into watching what time I'm going to go and how many metres I've done. So yeah, yeah, it's really, really cool. I think it's just a case of getting a bit used to it, but yeah. Absolutely. There was a little battery icon while I was swimming. Is that for how long the battery lasts? Does a it? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, you get 16 hours 16 per charge. 16 hours. So, okay, that's good. Uh, how yeah. long do you normally train for? Usually about two hours a day. Yeah. So that's that's eight sessions yeah, for definitely. you. That's not too bad. That's a week worth of training. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Well, three great bits of kit for when the swimming pools reopen. But for the life of me, I can't work out who Leo's going to go for. I know. They're all really strong, I thought, this yep. time. I liked all of them. OK. And what's really important is the person who wins this goes into the lead because it's neck and neck at the moment. Oh. Oh. Yes. OK, let's see neck who Leo neck. chose. Big thanks to the G team for coming out and helping me with some swim tech. And the winner is... The form swimming goggles. Yes. Well, hey, Thank that you. is you, Otis Dealey, yeah. swims into the lead. <laughs> well, listen, I've got a bit of tech that you can use in the pool. New set of teeth? No, 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 <laughs> it's in its own pool already. It is the Fitbit Charge 4. As you can see, it's waterproof. It's 129 quid. The good thing about this is, though, it's got GPS built in so it can track your outdoor pursuits. You can leave your phone at home or your expensive smartwatch and replace it with this. <laughs> OK. <laughs>